Good afternoon YouTube. I just thought I'd do another update on this one. It's been um, the 8th of February that I put this lovely fowl in water culture. It hasn't dropped any blooms. It's still looking fabulous. Really, really pretty. And we'll have a look at the roots. And as you can see, the roots are all doing really good. They're all nice and green. And if I hold the camera down, you'll see that the water is still fairly clear. Now, I haven't changed the water in this since I first put it in there. All I've done is topped it up. So you can see that one's done extremely well. So I would say that has been a success. So that's, what, coming up for a month in the water culture. So that's really good. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, I've watered my mini fowls today, or my babies, and I noticed that some of them had some woolly aphids on them. Now, God knows where that's come from. It could have come in the window, because I had the windows open the other day, or wherever. But um, I've treated them all now, and um, I'll just show you what I treated them with. So this is the stuff I've treated them with. The one on the right, the neem tree oil, um, I've mixed up some of that so it's 5 mils per litre. Um, I just did it slightly stronger than that. You mix it with warm water and then you just spray it on all the surfaces. And the one on the left is the granules and literally I just, if you look at them, it's almost, it looks almost like a bit of um, bark. You can get bits of bark in it or just the... It looks like compost, to be honest with you. And all I do with that is I actually get a teaspoon and I just put a little teaspoon of it around the top of the plant, so on the top of the um, the potting uh, stuff or bark, whatever it is you're potting them in. And it works a treat. It really does. It really does work a treat. So I thought I'd do a quick update on the terrarium. It's been painted black now. I've put a little turtle, a little turtle in there. I think he looks real cute. It's all doing really good. Um, I put a little air plant at the top there, just to make it look a bit nicer. And like I say, it's been painted black, so it's definitely a nicer reflective surface. If I step back, let's move that. You can see, you know, that it looks looks much nicer. Much nicer like that. So I'm really, really pleased with that one. This is the other terrarium that I made. Um, you can't see it that well because it's steamed up a bit. Because it's horrible weather out today and I've lit the fire. Um, but I don't know if you can look in there. So we've got the two ferns and lots of moss. And then down the bottom here, I put some some whiter stones just to give it a bit of a pop and a couple of little um, succulents that I had. I don't know if they'll survive in there, but we'll see. So that's that one. This one here is doing well. I added a few more um, or just a little bit more of ba this baby's tears plant just to look, make it a bit more, make it look a bit fuller. And I've put some whiter stones on the end just to give that a bit more pop. But the orchid's doing okay. It's lost a few flowers, but I think that might grow a bit more, that spike, hopefully. So we'll see how that one does, but it's looking okay. This terrarium, which is one of the little glass balls, I can't really see it against the backlight, um, which is really nice. I've sort of put up the moss further up the back to make it look more wall of moss. And I've put a few stones in and some more baby's tears just coming out just to make it. And I may put something in the middle there, either a sort of a decorative rock or possibly some sort of little animal or something. A bit like the turtle I put in the other one, just to give it a little bit of interest when you first look at it. Come on, focus. There we go. You can't really see it with the backlight. Um, this one here... Um, I really liked, I watched Susan Messix, I think that's how you pronounce her um, last name, and I really liked her plain terrariums with just the stones, and um, I thought how nice they were, 
So I've got some air plants on order and I'm just going to put a air plant in that one. And over here, I'm trying not to step on Ruby, who's not moving. Um, and I'll put another air plant in there. So I think that'll look good. I'm not sure whether this turtle looks silly in there. Yeah, he looks like he's upside down. <laughs> so I won't put him in there. We'll put him somewhere else. Another thing she did, she was putting air plants on her Phalaenopsis um, glasses. And I thought how nice they looked. Um, obviously, they're not getting any, um, they're not in water, but they're getting a bit of humidity there. So I thought, oh, I'll try that. I have got some air plants on order. So when they come, I'll put some more on and see how they look. I'll put him back in there. Um, I thought I'd go over a few of my um, house plants as well while I'm here. So I've got this great big monster peace lily in the corner, which is doing excellent. I've got these picture plants or carnivorous plants. They're doing really well. I've got little babies coming in the middle there. And some more babies in that one. And in there. That one's growing away now. Same with the one on the center. The one on the center of the table is getting huge. Um, and I'm going to try and get a better spike or some, or not spike, sorry, a, a stake. Something a bit more decorative to train it up because I believe these do grow up quite tall eventually. Um, so that one's doing exceptional. Um, that plant down there is really lovely. That's a sort of begonia rex, I think they call that. And that, that's really nice. That's, that's flowered off. Oh, uh, sorry, not flowered. It's been looking really good for months. Here's the um, Paphlopediums. I brought them in from outside in the orchid house. Nothing happening with them, but they're, they're doing better. I had to bring them in here because the temperatures was getting too cold out there. Uh, I've got... An array of house plants here, which is mainly um, succulents. Um, one or two other ones there, so they're coming away nicely. That is really took off this year. That comes out in a gorgeous red flower when it flowers, but um, it was looking very sick at the beginning of the year, so I've put it in there and it's really taken off. So I'm hoping it will flower next spring for me. The succulents outside are doing well. Um, likewise, the vandas. The vandas are doing really well. Um, you can see I've got a nice root growing there. Um, there was another one on here somewhere. Down there. That one's doing well down there. I've got some nice roots growing on this one. There's one there. Um, so they're doing really well. They need a little bit of a top-up, actually. They're doing exceptional and I see I've got, I think I've got a leaf coming up in one of the centres, that one there. So, you can just see that. So they're growing now, so that's good. Here are my other house plants. Just move the chair so we can have a look at them. So I've got, this is a newish one. I saw this one the other day and I thought, oh, it looks a little like a peace lily. Um, but it's actually called... So I can get the tag out, so you can see. Um, that. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Get it to focus. So that's what that one's called, and I'm, I really, really like that one. I think it's doing exceptionally well. I do like flowering house plants. Then I've got my little cactus. Um, I don't know what you want to call that. Easter, Christmas, whatever cactus, but I believe I've got some buds coming on it. So I think they're going to be flowers by the shape of them, so that's good. Then I've got this one here, which is called an African blood lily. Um, and that is absolutely stunning. It comes out in a great big ball, a red ball, almost like a um Agapanthus, you know, the agap the blue Agapanthus, only this one's red, and that's really gorgeous. Then I've got this lovely silver-leaved begonia, which has flowered for months. That's doing really well. Either side of that, I've got the two amaryllis, which 
I finished flowering now, so they're just sat there. I'm hoping they're going to die back in a minute. But if not, I'm not going to force them or do anything like that. I really am just going to let them do their own thing. Um, but I'm going to start feeding them now. Now the, uh, the flowers have finished. And then below, I've just got some succulents on that side and some succulents on that side, which are doing exceptionally well because they get a lot of light down there. I have to turn them quite frequently. So they're, they're doing really well. And the ones on this side are doing well as well. Um, that's not a succulent. That's a castor oil plant. So he's coming on. I'm going to have to move that one soon, I think. Because he's getting quite big down there. So there you go. So that's most of the house plants. Just this great big ponytail palm, which I've had for quite a long time. And that one, uh, I've had it for several years. And it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think next year, I'm possibly going to have to repot that one. But he's, he's looking beautiful. Really nice. And last but not least, another peace lily. It's very hard to not get this on the end of your peace lilies because we live in warm houses with dry atmospheres and um, this one is right next to the wood burner. Well, the wood burner is just there, so you do get that on the end and I just snip it off every now and then. But that one's going to need repotting next spring. And right next to it, we've got the hare's foot fern, which was all but dying on me. Um, until this year when I gave it a good tidy up and I don't know if it's going to be happy there I brought it out about a week ago so it may not be happy there it may be too warm in here and I might take it out into the orchid house over winter to see how it is but it's a lovely a lovely fern you see all the furry furry roots I think these quite possibly are there's another baby coming out there like another frong or fronged um so yeah so that's it so i'm very very pleased with all my plants so thanks for watching and i'll catch up with you later bye